you know, rest in peace, Harriet. I was supposed to bend shout her out, but Harriet was a real one. One of the first people that believed in my music and was trying to push me and my bro squeak when he was putting work in. You feel me? She was just one of the first ones that was feeling the whole movement, everything we was trying to do, man. So I will always be appreciative of that. You feel what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Harriet. Real talk. Yo, if you need graphic design, holla at me. I mean, hit me up on my email. I get you your cover quick. Yerp. And of course, like we gonna stop just playing Cash App games because I got everything. Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App. If you love what I'm doing over here on this channel, feel free to send a donation. You heard? If there's a way to get bread, I got it. So hit me up. Z-Man Suicide Polo with the ski man running around the hood like He-Man. Let's go. Swept Indian dude with twisters start walking up, twisting his hair. He's always twisting his hair. That's how grimy he was. He's from BK. He used to walk up. He, he, he was a big sneak deep in the house. So he, he started walking up. He said, he said, he asked Biggie, he said, yo, Biggie. He said, he said, yo, you got a cigarette? And went out the dorm and went to like where the TVs is at. So I was like, yo, that's the nigga that robbed you, Biggie. Get you a can top and blow that nigga, you heard? It's it's quite ironic that 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 you know how you said you started you 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 did a bit in green right? Yeah, I was in Washington too. All right, but well, when when I first came up, I went through Ulster County, and I, and I was with I was with this OG dude. He he had just he had just did a bit, so he was he was kind of like he was kind of like giving me the ropes of, of what to expect on this on the up north trip and, and it was funny because me and this old timer me and him had the same bid we had we both had a four to eight you know what i'm saying mm. and you know what i'm saying he was from far rockaway and i was from the x but he wasn't that much older than me he was just like a little bit older than me but he was like he he was a funny dude man he was telling me all about far rockaway the, um, I, I didn't even know that shit was wild like it was until, until, I, until I was talking to him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, boom. So, he was basically giving me the map. So, I ain't going front last. I was so much of a crazy wild nigga. I'm, when I say wild, I'm not talking about wild by doing shit all the time. I'm talking about, about my thinking my thinking zone, my thinking pattern. You know what I'm saying? The way I thought, the way I went about shit, it was crazy. It was wild. So when I was in Ulster, I used to, I used to want, I was like, I hope, I hope they send me the green, you heard? Like, even though I heard green was a crazy jail, that's where I wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, I hope they send me the green. Cause I knew some of my peoples was there too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I get on the, I, I go for the draft. I mean, I, they can put me on the draft. My shit say Washington, you heard? So boom. So now the dude, it was a dude that was there already. He's like, yo. Washington is like a baby green, you know what I'm saying? It's mad small, but it's like kind of the same shit be happening, you know what I'm saying? It's just on a, on a smaller scale, you heard? I was like, oh, all right. So boom, I get there. As soon as I get there, I see my man Al. He, he see me coming from the receiving room with my, with, my, with, my, with my little setup, you know what I'm saying? Going to my first house. I'm, they sent me to A1 in Washington. Now, you said you've been in Washington. I don't know when you was there. A1, A1 and F2 was considered the worst houses there, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Because A1 was right next to the, like, with the visits and, and the packages and all that. Niggas used to run out the dorm and rob niggas off the visit, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Off the package, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So A1 was a, was a crazy dorm and F2 was a crazy dorm. You know what I'm saying? But now I just get, I'm, I'm, I'm dragging my little 70. It's like, it's like, it's three of us that got there. It's my man, bro. It's my man, BX. It's me and, and my fat, and my fat man, my fat man. You heard? We all from the X. And, and these two dudes is, is younger than me. They, I got them by like, I got them by like three or four years. Like, like my three years. One of my mans is 16. And my other man, Biggie, he, he 18. And I'm, and, and, I, and I'm like 20. You know what I'm saying? So boom, we all from the Bronx, we all came together. So I, 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 I programmed in them niggas. I say, yo, B, we gotta go out. No matter what niggas do, we gotta go out. You know understand what I'm saying? So boom, we go, we walking, we walking with our package and shit. Not our package, we walking with our setup. 
from the um, from the receiving room. You know what I'm saying? So I see my man Al walking, going going to work or whatever. So he's like, he's like, yo, Al, yo, Al, what up? I'm like, oh, what up, what up, Al, what up? This is my child, this is my man. You know what I'm saying? From the street. We went to 145 and everything together. You know what I'm saying? Basketball, everything together. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm, so Al, like, yo, he, he talking to us for a second. He's like, yo, where they sending you at? I said, A1. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, all right. He said, um, yo, don't lock your locker, B. Don't put no lock on your locker. You heard? So I'm like, oh, all right. So boom. So as we walk, they, they, they sent me and, the, and my man Biggie to A1 and my man BX, they sent him to F2. You know what I'm saying? So now, boom, we go to, we go in. As soon as we get in, boom, we get in. The next day, no, exactly like two days later, it, it's, it's crazy because as soon as nigga walk in the door, nigga smell fried chicken. I'm like, oh, shit. What the fuck? I'm dumb hungry. You heard that shit hit my nose? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. Yeah, you know how niggas be niggas was getting niggas be getting the chicken in the in the package, mm -hmm. the Tyson joint, mm -hmm. and niggas was frying that joint up on in the door. Soon as soon as we walked in the door, all you smell was fried chicken. The Spanish dudes was doing it up. You heard? I was sick. You heard? <laughs> no man, I ain't know nobody. You heard? Nobody knew me. You heard? I'm like, oh man, man. All you smell is this chicken throughout the whole dorm. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I said, Yo, man. Boom, I, 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 I put my shit away. Boom, boom. So, like, everything, everybody seemed like they fuck with each other. You know, like, the first two, three days, everybody seemed like they cool with each other in the dorm or whatever. But, yo, I see two dudes. They rocking together. It's a short dude and a tall dude. And they rocking together. So, boom, the first three days I'm there, they rocking together. The next thing you know, I just see... I just see the short dude chasing like three dudes around the dorm because the, cause the CO is not in the, in, in the, in the dorm at, the, at this time. He on the other side talking to the other CO. So it's some shit jumping off. You know, I just got there. I only been there three days, so I, I, I'm not there enough to know what's going on. But like I just told you, this short dude and this black, this tall dude was just rocking together, eating together and everything. Next thing you know, I see the short dude chasing the tall dude and two other dudes all around the door. We heard he got a bang in his hand. And he chasing them niggas down crazy, you heard? I'm like this. I'm sitting on the top bed. I had the top bed. I'm sitting on top bed like, oh, shit. This shit is crazy, B. You know what I'm saying? And the, and, and the nigga that short dude, the short dude ain't, ain't, ain't saying nothing. He just chasing niggas. He caught one nigga, banged them up, and then the other, and then the rest of them niggas was running, scattering around the door. You know how like niggas be just running around in circles. I said, oh, shit. This shit crazy. Crazy. Boom. Then the COs came in, locked everything down. I'm like, oh shit. So then when I found out, it, the tall dude slumped the, the short dude. The short dude came from Comstock and he had mad boots, all kind of shit. And the nigga got cool. The nigga was acting like he was cool with the nigga. And the nigga snuck deep the nigga. And the nigga, a nigga chased like three niggas around the dorm. So this is my first two, three days in the dorm. So, so now niggas are putting me on like, yo, man, this is a, this a one. And um, this, this is like the, this is like the worst dorm on the compound. It's like nine sneak thieves in here. You heard? So I'm like sneak thieves. Like, yeah, sneak thieves, b. You heard? It's like nine of them niggas in here, b. Yo, if you, that, that shit happened to you, L. Just gotta pick a herb, you heard? If you don't know who did it, you heard? So I'm like, oh man, these niggas here with the sneak thief and shit, you heard? Cause I'm, I'm on, I'm, on, I, I rob a nigga any day, but on that, I, I never, on, I never was on that sneak thief and shit. I never liked it that, you know what I'm saying? So boom, make a long story short, nigga in the, nigga in the motherfucking, nigga in the, um, nigga in, the, nigga in, the, nigga in the door for like two months. My grandmother, my, my, I got my first package. My grandmother, God bless her soul. You heard, my grandmother always took care of me. You heard, she was the only one that was really there for me for my whole bitch, my whole life, tell, tell you the truth. So basically, my grandmother, she, she sent me, I, 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 I ordered out the JL Market. I ordered um or, 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 or the M&P, matter of fact. You remember the M&P, right, Sad? Yeah, Say yeah, that? Yeah, 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 facts. And the East Bay, I had, I had all of them shits. Yeah, well, I, 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 I ordered out the M&P, you heard? That was the black and white joint, the M&P, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the black and white joint, you heard? I ordered a Kobe, the Kobe. I ordered a nice Walkman with the nice headphones, and I ordered five tapes. I ordered five tapes. I ordered Nas Illmatic, AZ Do or Die, um, Monifa, um, 
Raycon the Purple Tape, and um, and D'Angelo. Remember that? You heard? Mm -hmm. I ordered those in my five tapes. I got the Kobe um, Walkman with the Kobe head headphones. My grandmother, I sent the, the Spurs, I sent the order shit home. My grandmother ordered that for me. My, I was rocking, you heard? Boom. My, um, I was, I was, I was, I had a, a double bunk at the time. I was, I was in a, I was in a double bunk with, 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 with a, with a dude named Trap from Brooklyn. I think he was from Brownsville too, you heard? Mm. I think he was from the Ville. Trap, you heard? And, um, um, light skin trap. I think he was in green before. He came from green. Cause you know a lot of niggas that was in Washington came from green, you heard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So boom. And um, he was my bunk, he was my bunk. And um and he had no walkman or nothing. So whenever, whenever I wasn't in in, in in my in my queue, I used to let him rock my walkman. Plus he was on cube confinement for he had a lot of cube confinement. So boom. So boom, making no story short, I wind up getting my single bed and everything. I'm, I'm in the car fam for like two months. So remember I told you I came through with a dude named Biggie, right? Yeah. So now Biggie, he like 18. He, he a chubby dude. The reason why we called him Biggie, I called him Biggie because he looked like Biggie, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Boom. So now the nigga, he was a cool nigga, but you could tell that he had his mom and him was taking care of him. He was getting packages on the regular. You heard? And he smoked cigarettes and all that. I ain't smoked cigarettes and all that. And we, you know, at this time we just got up north, so we like the bag. You know, we go into the, we go into the yard on the weekends. We buying 25s, you heard? You know what I'm saying? We buying like 225, you know what I'm saying? So Biggie went on a visit. So he went on a visit this weekend. Now we've been in the dorm for like two months and all that. We didn't, we didn't watch certain niggas get robbed and all that and this and that. So boom, I done told Biggie from the jump, he's, he already know. Niggas don't lock they locker. Cause I took he heard my man tell me that. My man told me that on the walkway. Yo, yo, L, don't lock your locker, you heard? Don't put your lock on your locker. Cause niggas gonna try to niggas gonna think you're the sucker, they gonna rob you, you heard? Don't never lock your locker, you heard? Don't use them locks. So and I and so when we got back, I told my man Big, I said, You heard what my man said, don't lock your lock. So he never locked his lock. So but when he when he came up to visit this time, his, he came up to visit with two cartons of cigarettes, he came up with a, a whole bunch of food, and he and he came off heavy. So it, it, I think it was a Saturday, we hit the, we went straight to the yard because we had to get the smoke. So we went to the yard, we bought two twenty-fives. So boom, we had plans on. We had we already had to cook, waiting for us in the in the, in the dorm. He was gonna cook all the food, cook food and all that. Boom, boom. You know, so now we come back, we jump in the shower. I'm jumping in. The, I'm about to jump in the shower. The nigga Biggie come walking up to me with a sad look. He like, yo, L, yo, niggas robbed me. Niggas took everything. So I said, what? Niggas robbed you. Niggas took everything. It was like a trip. I, I couldn't believe it. You heard? I said, yo, everything was going good. We had our smoke. We had 225. All that. We, 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 yo, I, I, I couldn't believe this shit. I said, I said, they robbed you. He, I said, I said, who? He said, he said, yo, man, I had my stuff in the little. Look what he did. Look what he did, man. He got himself robbed. Stupid ass nigga. The nigga, you know, the little locker? Yeah. He, he took the little locker and put it in the big locker <laughs> and locked both of them. You heard? That nigga bugging out. Yo, we, we came back. That shit was, oh, that nigga shit was cracked. You heard? <laughs> that nigga said, yo, L, yo, they took everything, man. They took my cigarettes. They took everything. So I said, so before I got a chance to even say something, this nigga, this, this, this West Indian dude walked up to us, walked up to him with us, basically, because he was he came to my queue, and he was like, yo, L, they robbed me. So, boy, he said, so the West Indian dude walked up out of nowhere and said, he asked the nigga Biggie for a cigarette, you heard? Yeah, that's suspicious. Yo, look, no, as soon as he walked off, I said, yo, Biggie, get you a can top and blow that nigga right there. That's the nigga that robbed you. So the nigga said, yo, how you know that, L? I said, yo, yo, man, that's the nigga that robbed you, B. Fuck out of here, B. You know what I'm saying? So I went and jumped in the shower. So boom, I jumped out the shower. You said, you said son had your walkman and all of that in this shit? Nah, he had my walkman. He robbed my, they robbed my man Biggie first, you heard? Okay. 
okay, okay. They got my man Biggie first. My man Biggie went on a visit. He came back with two cards of cigarettes and mad food. You heard? His moms came to see him. You heard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came back with two cards of cigarettes, Newports, and mad food. And money in his top and, and, and on his books. You heard? His mother used to take care of him. You heard? It was one of them, one of them dudes, first time in jail ass dudes. You heard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he used to talk that talk, so I thought he was about it, about it. You know what I'm saying? You know how niggas talk that talk, you think niggas about it, about it. You know what I'm saying? So this this, this is his first test. So now he tell me they got him. He put his locker in this big lock, little lock in the big locker. So I said, yo, man, you bugging out, man. But who I got a chance to say anything, this, this West Indian dude with twisters started walking up, twisting his head. He used to always twist his head. That's how grimy he was. He from BK. He used to walk up. He, he, used to, he was a big sneak thief in the house. So he, he started walking up. He said, he said, he asked Biggie, he said, yo, Biggie. He said, he said, yo, you got a cigarette? So he, he did it on some sarcastic shit and kept it walking. And went out the dorm and went into like where the TVs is at. So I was like, yo, that's the nigga that robbed you, Biggie. Get you a can top and blow that nigga, you heard? So as soon as I said that, the nigga B said, Yo, how you know that, L? I said, yo, man, that's the nigga that robbed you, man. And I, I, I already had my towel on, and I was about to walk in the shower anyway. So I was like, man, I told him that, and I went in the shower. So when I came out the shower, I ain't see the nigga Biggie in the door. So I got dressed, and I walked. I started walking around the door. So when I walked around the door, I walked around the door. I see Biggie. I see Biggie on the phone. You heard? So I go. So I, you know he, he in the phone booth. You heard? I open up the booth. I'm like, yo, who you talking to, bro? He like, yo, I'm talking to my mom. I say, you talking to your mom? He say, yeah. He said, hold up. I, 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 I talk to you, Al, in a minute. So he get off the phone. So I said, yo, what you talking to your mom about? He like, yo, my mom said, don't worry about it. She gonna send me another package. I said, yo, bro, man, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you worry your moms with that shit, bro? You don't worry your mom with what's going on in here, B. You heard? You know what I'm saying? I said, of course your mother gonna say she gonna send you another package. Don't do nothing and don't worry about it, B. I told you who did that shit. That nigga that did that shit, that's the nigga that came up to you and asked you for a cigarette, B. Go blow that nigga, B. You heard? He was like, yo, nah, but my mom said she gonna send me another package. I said, yo, B, if you don't go blow that nigga, yo, don't fuck with me, don't say nothing to me no more. That's word of my mother, B. You heard? Fuck is wrong with you, B. You gonna worry your moms about that shit, B. He like, he like, yo, but my mom said, don't worry about it, L. I said, oh man, B now all the kids shit coming out of this nigga. I'm like, oh man, this nigga, this nigga here, B. I said, I, I can't wait to tell BX. And BX was only 16. And BX was more thorough than him. I, I told the nigga, if he don't do nothing tonight, he don't get a can top. Cause first he tried to say, I ain't got no weapon. I said, nigga, get a can top. You heard? You know what I'm saying? So boom. So, so, so I can't I said what I said to him when he when he got off the phone with his mother. And, and then it was like, it was like, it was like, it was another dude in the house that, that was, that, that, that tried to like, try to, that, that tried to go up to him and be like, yo, what happened to you? He already knew what happened to him, but he tried to act like he can so he could throw him under the wing so it won't happen to him no more. You heard? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mean? saying? So, so, I, and so he was like, so he, he had asked the nigga Biggie, yo, what the nigga L told you? To the nigga, the nigga, the nigga B, he was like, yo, the nigga L told me if I don't do nothing, you know what I'm saying, don't fuck with him no more, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So he was like, oh, that's fucked up, L told you that, yo, you fuck with me, don't worry about it, you heard? So boom, when we went to the yard the next day, you heard? I told, I wound up telling, remember I told you it was three of us that came to that jail together, you heard? We, and we was all rocking together, me, Biggie, and BX. And I was 20. BX was, um, I mean, um, Biggie was um, 18 and BX was 16. So, but BX was one of them big 16 year old. He, he looked older than what he, he looked older than what he is, you heard? So boom, we got to the yard. So I told the nigga BX, I said, yo, BX, B, you know, you, you believe when we got back to the house dorm yesterday, after all that time we smoked the blood in the yard and all that, we got back to the dorm, this nigga got robbed, and this nigga ain't do nothing. All that shit he was talking when we was in Ulster County about if niggas do this and niggas do that, what he was gonna do, you heard? BS like, yo, word, 
yo, you ain't do nothing, Biggie? So Biggie was like, nah, man. I uh, my mom said she gonna send me another one. My man, my man BX just hit that nigga. Bop, boop, bop. Niggas started fighting right there in the fucking yard, you heard? Police jumped on them niggas and knocked them niggas up. I'm laughing, right? Because the way my man BX did it. So, boy, I'm laughing and shit. So, boom. So, so man, other BX niggas come. they like, yo, Al, what's up, man? What happened with the team, man? So, I'm like, nah, man, this nigga Biggie got robbed. And then, and then nigga, he was, and, and I told, I told the homie BX about it. And BX didn't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, the nigga, nigga, um, other, uh, other homies that been there longer than me. Other, other bros that been there longer than me was like, yo, L, man, that's wrong, man. You should have never, you should have stopped that shit. You should have never let that shit happen. Cause I kind of like let that shit happen. So I was like, man, fuck that, man. Biggie, man, he, he did some bullshit, man. He making niggas look bad. So boom, like two weeks later, word to my mother, like two weeks later on the weekend, you know, on the, in the mediums, it ain't no um week, weekday business. It's, it's only on the weekend, you heard? Mm -hmm. So boom. So, um, and that's when the bag come, you know that. So, boom. So, um, the weekend came. Um, so now, I go to child regular. Now, I always left my Walkman. I always left my Walkman and my headphones on my bed and my locker open and everything. I never locked my locker when I was there. Never. And I was, I was, I was there for like three months already now. So, boom. This is right before the fight with lead pipe. You heard? So, boom. So now, um. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I go to child one day. So when I come back from child, my Walkman, my headphones is gone. I open up my locker, my tapes and all that is still there. You heard? The niggas just took my Walkman. You heard? So boom, it was count time. It was count time. So boom, I was like, oh, all right. I ain't even have no, no razor or nothing. So I was like, all right. Boom, and I knew it was the weekend. So I said, oh shit, niggas stole, niggas stole my, my Walkman that my grandmother bought me. I'm a killer nigga over this shit, B. Niggas ain't know. I was ready to die or kill somebody over that Walkman because my grandmother bought that shit, you heard? So I'm like, I said, I said, all right. Niggas stole my Walkman, you know what I'm saying? So then they said, child, and I said, Look, they said, yard going out. So we went to the yard. I went, I went right to my man, Water Bear Hab. He was at F2. So I said, yo, Hab, he knew everybody on the compound. He knew he was there the longest. So I was like, yo, Hab. Yo, I need, I need a gym or something, B. Nigga stole my Walkman, B. I'm, I'm blowing somebody, B. Straight up, B. And nigga was like, a word, a word. He like, oh, come on, let's go. Let's go let's go to all the weed niggas and tell the weed niggas what's going on. So we went to all the weed niggas in the yard. The niggas that get the bud. We went, all, we went to all the niggas. I said, we said, yo, B. I, don't, I told niggas, I don't want the Walkman back, you heard? Just tell me who gave you, who gave you the Walkman. Cause my man Waterbed knew all the weed niggas, you heard? So he went to, he went to step, we stepped to all the weed niggas. It was like three of them in the yard. We stepped to the niggas. We said, yo, B, if a nigga bring you a Walkman, I don't even want the Walkman back. Just let me know who took it, you heard? So niggas like, yeah, all right, don't worry, don't worry. They told me and my man Waterbed had, and my man BX, cause it was my man BX with me too. So he's like, he's like, yeah, like, all right, boom. So boom, I, I went, I went back, I went back to, I went back to my dorm. When I went back to my dorm, my Walkman was back on my bed, bro. Word to my mother. When I went back to the dorm, my Walkman was back on my bed. But I had the gym with me, you heard? Because my man Waterbed Hab gave me a gym. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got the gym with me. So boom. So now, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I, now I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling played a little. Even though I got my Walkman back, I'm still feeling played. So I'm, I'm, I'm calling niggas out. I'm calling niggas out one by one, and I'm telling niggas to come in the bathroom. And when I, when they come in the bathroom, I'm asking niggas one by one. I say, yo, you took my Walkman, you heard? Because I wanna, I'm, 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 I'm asking niggas straight up because I want niggas to feel some type of way. I want niggas to be like, yeah, I took your Walkman, so I, we could go gun to gun, or I could blow niggas right there, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I put. So the first nigga I started with, remember I told you I had when I first got there, I had the funky nigga named Trap. You heard? Yeah. He was the first dude I started with. I ain't going front, and I think he was from the Ville. You heard? My man Trap, he was official. But I started with him. Cause I, I ain't, cause I, I, like I told you, in A1, it had all the fucking sneak things. You heard? So I said, I, I, I said, yo, Trap, come in the bathroom for a second. He, I started with him. So he came in the bathroom. He's like, yo, what's up, man? I said, yo, I said, yo, Trap, took my Walkman B. 
He said, yo, Al, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, B? Yo, man, you, yo, you was my motherfucking bunkie, man. You used to let me fucking hit. He was at, he was real mad. He was upset, you heard? He was real upset. He, he wasn't upset to what he wanted to do nothing, but he was upset that I, that I was even accusing him. But he got he had to understand we in the belly of the beast. You know how that sneak thieving shit go, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I was like, I was like, yo, like I told you, I, my thing was I was trying to pull it out. Whoever did it, I was trying to be a, I was trying to pull it out of him. Like, yeah, you gonna be a real nigga today. You ain't gonna just sneak through a nigga shit and a nigga not knowing. I'm gonna pull it out of you, nigga. You heard by by pulling you out in front of everybody. I, so I pulled out like four other niggas, right? To the old timer in the house that been there the longest, that been on the, the nigga had 21 years in, named Messiah. He was from the Bronx, you heard? You know what I'm saying? He had 21 years in. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He said he pulled me to the he pulled me to the side after the fourth dude, and he was like, cause he must have heard about what I was I was doing. So the nigga said, Yo, L, said Yo, come over here, let me talk to you for a second. He already fucked me because we was from Davidson. Me and him, he showed me his pictures and all that, so we already built on some Bronx shit. You know what I'm saying? He just was the old school nigga in uh, in, the, in the house. You heard? So boom, and he was from the X, so he was official. You know what I'm saying? And he used to get the bag, so he was like, he, he said he pulled me to the side. I had a lot of respect for him. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So he like, he like, yo. He said he, I, I was sitting on his bed with him. He like, yo. He said, yo, L. So sometimes. People don't know who you is, you heard? And they do shit, and then when they find out who you is, you know, they shit come back. You know what I'm saying? He said, what you doing right now? Stop doing that, brother, because, you know, you, you, you got your walkman back. People respect you. you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when people don't know who you is, you know what I'm saying? It's it, 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 They must have went to that yard, and they seen who you was, and, and then your shit came back to you. You know what I'm saying? He said, but that thing that you're doing right now, by trying to step the dudes and try to pull. I said, yo, but come on, Messiah. Yo, Messiah, who who did it, man? Because I knew he knew. So I was like, come on, Messiah. Who did it? Because like I told you, I built with him. He showed me his pictures and all that. And, and we'd be built before. So I tried to pull it out of him. That's how gangsta I was. I was trying to, because this was my first, you no, know, I was trying to, I was trying to put in my work. You know what I'm saying? Like my name. That my, my my nuts hang, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I was like Messiah, man, come on, B. Who did that shit? He said, brother, I told you, <laughs> leave it alone, yo. That shit was dumb, funny, you heard? So boom, I left that. I wound up leaving that shit alone. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Then the one, I, I, I I wound up, but I learned a lesson from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you ain't gotta always, you know, get busy. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I was ready to blow a nigga top off for my grandmother Walkman that she bought me. You heard? Like I told you, they took my Walkman and the headphones and they left my tapes and all that. But when, when I went to the yard and I told all the weed niggas, yo, I don't even want the Walkman back. Just motherfucking let us know who got it. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And it was like, all right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Because my man Water Bear had was official. You know what I'm saying? And they fucked with him on the, on the company. You heard? So boom. So, on the car pad. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So I, you know, I went back to the dorm. I didn't even know my shit was going to be back on my bed. I was, I, was, I, was, I was prepared to blow a nigga. You heard? Or blow a few niggas. I would have been right across the street at Comstock. You heard? I was already prepared for that. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She crazy, B. Yeah, man, them Walkmans is serious, bro. Like, I, I done seen a lot of shit happen over Walkmans. But I did that same thing when I got the green, bro. I had a whole box of tapes, exclusive tapes. You feel what I'm saying? With the Sony headphones, Sony Walkman, all of that. I just came in the dorm, threw my shit on the motherfucking bed and walked out the house. Straight up and went to chow like this. I'm good. Or the yard or whatever they was calling I mean, yeah, you it, got a story like that, right? Yep, I did that. I, I spoke yep. about that, but I mean, niggas put me on to that shit. Like, yo, don't, man, don't just put shit on your bed, nigga. Don't even put shit in your locker. Put it on your bed. Mm. Real talk. Yeah, that's that green shit. I told you that's where I wanted to go. I would have wound up getting into mad shit if I would have went to green. I ain't really want to go there, dude. I want, thought I did. Shit, <laughs> but. I, that's how I was though. I, I heard that shit was the wildest joint <laughs> up there. I wanted to go there, B. I swear to God, I was in I was in Ulster County, 
hoping that I was the green. You heard? That's how it was with the cat. I, when I was in green, I used to be like, damn man, I ain't never, I ain't never put no cat time in no. Mm-hmm. Know I mean? Yeah, so you know how that shit feel. Sometimes you be wanting to go places because you cause you be hearing how real it be. Yeah, that nigga that, Saquon that, that, used to say that same shit up north. That nigga used to be like, man, I'm tight, man. These fucking niggas ain't never send me the green, man. Mm-hmm. Telling you, and I'm telling you another wilder story than that. Yo, me and my man God G O D, we used to um, we used to he used to, he came home from Sparfield one time. On that he came home from DFY one time, and he was telling me the stories about Sparfield, how he was fighting and everything, and with the what he had to expect and with the spec. Cause I never been to Sparfield and all that, so I was like, I worried to my mother. We we said, yo, let's go out, let's go out there and get locked up and get caught. Yo, we was so stupid. We want we was gonna go get we was gonna go catch a robbery and get caught, you heard? On purpose, you heard? Mm-hmm. Just to go to Sparky together so we could rap out, you heard? <laughs> That's the type of shit that be going through our mind in the ghetto, you heard? <laughs> yeah, the mother. 